guys so if you notice the 993 Carrera RS that I had on my channel about maybe two months ago or a month ago is back in my garage we're taking it to another car meet today the only thing is if you remember I took this car through a crazy 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 rainstorm and it is still filthy the car hasn't really driven since that weekend so I'm gonna go run it through a wash right now and yeah then we're gonna go to the meet to the car wash and before I get some flack for this I'm doing a touchless one so don't worry the car will be perfectly fine I know I know it looks like it's a touch wash but it's not there is a touchless option and that's what I did so as you're gonna see in two seconds literally nothing is touching the car gotta give this car credit for is the seals are actually still pretty good you think a car this old like some water would come in or, any, or something but like this is not the first time I've taken this through a car wash and nothing comes in pretty good okay and the car is kind of clean again I can't really say that about the interior because we kind of destroyed that but the inside it, I mean the outside is pretty nice the interior if you look at the mats from all the water getting in and out during the storm still pretty dirty but whatever that'll get taken care of a bit later but for now at least the outside's clean okay so we just got to the meet it's still early so still setting up and everything but so far we have two r8 huracan evo we have austin's gt2 rs this thing's crazy has these bbs wheels everything is carbon fiber instead of the plastics that normally come in the car just like this car is freaking crazy even look at the diffuser in the back. I think we saw this car in a video when we were picking up the 918. This car was there as well. Uh, and then yeah, GT3 RS. And we're with the 993 Carrera RS. But yeah, a ton more cars are going to show up. GT3 Touring right there. So, purple GT3 Touring. Such a crazy color. This car was actually a car week. It's, one of, it's a friend of ours. I kept on trying to see him and we kept on kind of missing each other where we went and SLS we saw this one on the channel as well recently and 765 LT Spider and the Senna as well red Senna this car looks so aggressive like the lines and everything just wild And then kind of the little brother, the 765. Pretty Ooh. cool combo. And the SLS of all the way reviewed on the channel a few months ago. Okay, so a few more cars came. There's a Bentley GT, Ferrari Portofino. Obviously these cars we saw already, but now they lined up all the cars right here. So you have the Senna with the doors up, the SLS, the 765 Spider, and then this is like a really cool build. I guess it's like a Singer type thing. The company's called GS. It actually looks very, very high quality to be honest. Really cool blue wheels. The mirrors look sick. The interior looks incredible, like the houndstooth inserts. But yeah, just overall actually a really, really cool looking build. And yeah, it does look very similar to Singer. Honestly, from far we thought it might be, but also we kind of figured, you know, it's not that common to just see a Singer. Uh, then yeah, the Supra, not much like M4s and stuff. Corvettes, there's RX-7 over there. We got 765, Senna, SLS right there, kind of up front. 
But yeah, pretty cool turnout. The thing is, a lot of people are at the track today for um, for Dry Fest. We're going to be there tomorrow and Sunday. So I guess otherwise it would have been a bigger turnout, but still pretty good. Then also there's this cool Lava Orange GT3. and actually looks really cool with the silver wheel contrast. Of course, bucket seats. Then the purple Touring and a China Gray GT3 as well. Pretty cool little lineup for 992s. So the one thing I really got to give McLaren with the Senna is there isn't really luxury in the Senna interior. So they're kind of straight to the point with the track car. Everything's super aggressive. Like, you know, just literally made to be a race car, made to go fast on the track, not made to be comfortable at all. So we just left the meet. We're cruising in the 993 the SLS and the Senna. So hopefully I can get some cool little clips of the Senna driving around. And here it is. The Senna looks so aggressive compared to like regular cars. This thing is freaking wild. Yeah, that thing looks fucking aggressive as the hell on the road. That's like a plain race car, crazy aero. Absolutely wild. There we go. Let's get behind them. Crazy. Okay, so it's time for Dry Fest at most sports. We have Jason going in the GT2 RS. He actually just dropped off his GT3. Uh, Jamie's M2, Neil's 635. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go to the track. I think there should be some cool stuff there. Uh, let's go. I probably put this in my videos like a thousand times, but here's Jason's GT2 RS on the highway. We probably cruised with him in this car in the vlogs like 30 times. already good start ladies and gentlemen we just got to drive fast but honestly there's no need to walk around because we just found the coolest car in the show don't need to look any further here it is it's a Miata with scissor doors Lambo doors Lambo doors Lambo doors billionaire doors billionaire doors that's what it is so I think we saw this we can just go back to the car and go home now right let's go we're done See, the last cars we saw on the track were Zonda R and Wire R, so I don't know about this. No, F12. How can you even tell? It's a different car. Sounded pretty good. Yeah, so we're at the FAF Reserve booth. They have this 964 E Type. XJ220, one of my favorite cars. Veyron, Drake's old Veyron, Sang Noir. Uh, Drake's old Sang Noir. Very cool, the orange interior is sick. But then, yeah, XJ220, probably coolest car here. MG GTR. And then let's go look at the SLR 722. SLR 722S Roadster, one of 150 ever made. Pretty cool, you don't ever see them in black, usually they're silver. Not a big NSX guy, but white on white wheel is kind of cool. Then the OG red NSX. I like this one pretty cool lineup. Claire and Alba. Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of them, but you know, pretty cool. 4 GT Heritage and a Mark II 4 GT. I've actually never seen this one until today. Really cool, kind of a heritage delivery to the old GT40s. And let's go see what else is here. Spiker C8. I think it's one of the only ones in Canada. You never see them here. You never see them in general. Silver is pretty cool. They're usually you see them in like black, and this one has a blue interior. Pretty cool. LP 550 Gallardo. 48 Pista. Safari 911. 
CGT. Let's go. That's actually pretty sick. Typical silver spec, black interior. Beside that, Diablo Roadster. I think it's a VT. Very sick. And this is the La Ferrari we saw on the track. Actually, I don't think I filmed it when it passed by, but I'm not too sure. Uh, pretty cool white on red A12 GTS. Oh, Viper ACR right over there. Another 4 GT. So the fast car is trying to go on right now. They're on right there. GT and Elva. SLR 722. Oh, no, it's just, oh, the guy announcing just has no idea what he's talking about. You see on the screen there's a Veyron that's owned by FAF going around. He's saying it's Tim Schmidt's Chiron, but it's a, clearly a Veyron. That's a dealer car. Last year, same thing. The guy has no idea what he's talking about, but I guess we're about to see the Veyron come around. The turbo noise. Ooh, Ford GT ripping it. That Bugatti will be coming to you momentarily, James, as we look at the uh, second end. We're going to get paired up here. That gorgeous uh, Navy. And Elva. And he has got a uh, former be behind the wheel and for the 675 uh, Spider and the Gallardo. That Gallardo sounds pretty good. I believe that uh, Bugatti. So walking around the parking lots and boom, actually 220. Let's go. It's got the S kit on it. It's not a real S, but still really, really cool. Yeah, Corvette, I think Z06. I think actually, no, it's a Grand Sport. A few 911s, GT3 RS. And we'll go look at those in one second. So here's Tim's Chiron and P1, both carbon body. This is potentially the highest mileage Chiron in the world. I think it's in the 20s or 30,000 miles. He's done like 260 miles an hour in this, wild. Chassis number two, P1, green carbon fiber, ordered originally by Michael Fuchs. He has a matching Senna as well, but crazy car, pretty cool combo. I saw a Roadster, first gen GT4, pretty cool. Oh, your yellow headlights. Oh, yellow headlights. XKRS. But then, cross with that, Mustang Bullet. Before I ever had a YouTube channel, I had one of these. This one doesn't have the car seats. I had the Recaros. Day two, and we start off with the Mark II GT, which we actually saw it as the first car we came in yesterday. I don't think I filmed it, but... GT3. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what this is. Well, you know, it's a Carrera for us. Cool. Yeah. Mark II GT. Pretty wild. And here he goes again. That's pretty fucking loud, actually. Yeah, so yesterday was honestly too hot to just be here for too long, so we're back today. Uh, we're gonna have more time to walk through everything. I think some different cars are here. Yeah, let's go see what's happening today. Okay, so A12 is a nice car, but can we like please not do this spec? Because this car was on the track yesterday, and when it went by, I actually thought this was a comp because this is the launch spec for the comp, but it's just a regular one. So let's not try to pretend to have specs from better versions of the car. <laughs> Part of the whole show, right here. 
literally the best part of this whole event. Oh yeah, 918 just T-bowing an Aventador. <laughs> Yeah. Baller alert, CL65 V12, 621 horsepower. Definitely not the most flashy car, but this thing is so rare, it's so sick. You never see the 65s, you rarely see CLs anymore, but yeah, the 65 is so rare. CLK. Another CL65, this one is the early gen. Another V12, this thing's nuts. Again, you just don't see 65s ever. People don't buy the V12s, so it's so cool to actually see one. And then another one right here. I remember when Top Gear released this and they showed like how crazy powerful it was back in the day. The twin turbo V12, this thing's straight power. We're gonna hear this thing. Should sound crazy. Ooh. Sounds so good. Like this was so ahead of its time. So the owner said this has 870 wheel horsepower, 1,000 pounds feet of torque. So tune, downpipe, straight pipe, this thing's nuts. And license plate, very appropriate, V12 King. That's awesome. Okay. That GT is nice. This one, like the GT stuff. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. So slow. Six seven five. This car's sick. Oh, the four GT. Oh yeah. Viper ACR coming by. Let's go. That sounds pretty good. Okay, so here we have this carbon fiber with orange accent Senna. Pretty cool. But then on the other side, we have something cooler. So purple carbon wire roads or gold wheels. Pretty cool spec. There used to be a twin to this in the US, but it crashed. So I think this is the only one left unless they rebuilt that car. Very cool. Yeah, the purple carbon looks so sick. Then SF90 right here with the Fiorano package, but definitely not on the same level as a wire roadster. And yeah, the purple's kind of cool on that car. Joker spec. So wire up BC roadster. I think it's a oh yeah, it's actually a matte silver on this one. Usually the press cars were silver. I think it's not the same one we usually see in all the events. I think this one might be from Europe. Then full carbon fiber Alva. I feel like we've seen this car quite a few times in the last few months in Montreal, downtown Toronto, and out here. Uh, again, not a big fan. Elbow with a windshield, I think it's not the right move, but you know, to each their own. Yeah, pretty cool. And then this thing, I don't know what it is. Two seater. So, so it's like it's like a two seater, just one seat behind, one seat in front. So it's very narrow. Pretty cool. Yeah, I don't really know anything about it. What happened? They locked the keys in front. 
So what do we have to do now? Break into your truck? Now I have to break it. So out of any car to lock keys in, this is what they lock the keys in. So now we got to break into the armored truck that is literally like, it will protect you from assault rifles, but we got to break into it. Like this is, this window is like this thick and we're going to break into it. But yeah, just for some size comparison, these are pretty big pickup trucks. And this is this truck. This is based off of F550. So let's see if we can break in. Will we get in the car? It's a real question. I've never seen Adam push so hard to do anything. You know what, Adam, I gotta give you this. Your security is pretty good. You still haven't broken in. <laughs> so this video just went from hypercars to how to break into an armored truck. Very useful information. Make sure to take notes. Oh! So this is the interior of this one. It's like a full luxury interior. AC feels nice in here. Big TV. <laughs> oh yeah, two colors. Colors don't work or something. Can you turn off these lights? Okay, watch it. Hey, so that's pretty much it for the weekend. Uh, Drive was kind of weird to film because everything was kind of in different places and all the cars were going out at different times. It's kind of hard to keep up and kind of get everything uh, driving and just see everything. Uh, but hopefully, you know, hopefully I got enough footage of that. Uh, but yeah, I think there's a few more good car events for the next few weekends. Uh, some cool stuff happening. October should be a really cool month. Um, but yeah, definitely stay tuned. If you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe. October, we're going to do some really, really cool stuff uh, with a really big YouTuber that we have seen on the channel before, I think. So yeah, it'll be pretty fun. I'll see you then.